The announcement trailer for Immortals Phoenix Rising, Ubisoft's open-world action-adventure based on Greek mythology, has arrived, and the gods are in serious trouble. It's up to you as the chosen hero, Phoenix, to save them from a cosmically tragic fate. Let's dive in on what we know and what we think we know. Immortals Phoenix Rising is from the Assassin's Creed Odyssey team, but while Odyssey was steeped in historical accuracy, Immortals Phoenix Rising leans more into the mythological. Right from the start, the use of James Brown's I got ants in my pants and I wanna dance strikes an irreverent tone for the trailer. The dynamic and over-the-top animation of the charging Minotaur and Phoenix's massive counterattack with Hephaestus' hammer makes it clear this is not Assassin's Creed, and don't you forget it. While the hammer attack appeared to be a divine power at Phoenix's disposal, the axe, which we see on her shoulder as she walks away, begins to illustrate a variety in weapon choice. We get a quick shot of Phoenix on her horse, hitting at a traversal method for the open world and its sweeping vistas. She's then attacked by a harpy, a famous creature of Greek mythology with a woman's body and an eagle's talons, wings, and in this case, face. Phoenix pulls out another weapon from her arsenal, a bow, to strike back at the airborne foe. As more harpies arrive, Phoenix switches to a third weapon, a sword, taking to the air briefly, hinting that the combat in the game is not limited to the ground. Finding herself surrounded, Phoenix uses yet another attack, a magic area of effect move called Ares Wrath that summons spears to stab vertically and take out the whole group of harpies. She strikes a cool pose for good measure, too. Here we get a quick shot of an enemy that seems inspired by the Hecatonkeres, mythical giants with 50 heads and 100 arms. This version has fewer arms and heads, but does seem to have a lot of eyes and the size to match the legendary creature. A griffin, with its lion body and eagle claws, wings, and beak, flies by a gigantic statue, possibly that of a titan. Or maybe it's a real petrified titan and not a statue at all? Phoenix then confronts a large glowing armored foe surrounded by smaller glowing red soldiers. Maybe an army of the dead related to Hades? This group of people frozen in stone with looks of terror on their faces can mean only one thing, the infamous Gorgon Medusa. Medusa was, of course, a woman cursed with a snake's body and snakes for hair, whose gaze could turn anyone who saw her to stone. Other Gorgons will be enemies in the game, but this is clearly Medusa herself. Phoenix puts on a burst of speed, perhaps related to Hermes, famous for his quickness. Medusa is a dangerous enemy, but luckily Phoenix has yet another trick up her sleeve, or rather on her back, the wings of Daedalus. In Greek myth, Daedalus crafted wax wings to escape the prisons of Minos, but his son Icarus flew close to the sun, melting his wings and falling. Phoenix's wings have no such limitations and can be used for traversal or, as we see here, fast-paced aerial combat against her gigantic and deadly foes. All of Phoenix's weapons can be upgraded over the course of the game, and she's also not limited to the appearance we see here. Tons of customization options are available to mold her weapons, skills, and look to fit your preference as you explore the massive and gorgeous open world laid out before you. Presumably, we'll have to do something about that raging mountain of doom at some point. Obviously, this is just the merest glimpse of an action-adventure of mythic proportions. We can't wait to explore the world of Immortals Phoenix Rising ourselves when the game is released on December 3, 2020 for Google Stadia, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, PS4, and PC, and also coming to Xbox Series X and PS5.